Hey you, do you want to win some free Robux? Well, I give away Robux every single day. To enter, like the video, subscribe to the channel, comment down below your Roblox username, and set up a please donate booth, and you'll be entered. Here we are right now inside of a dusty trip. I'm going to be showing you guys how you can complete the brand new quest line in the game. By watching all the way up in the end, you guys will be able to complete this. Let's go and get into it now. But if you are ever in need of Robux, go ahead and download this app called Playbite. It's like an arcade on your phone. You guys can play fun games in a single app and win prizes for playing those games. One of the prizes is the official Roblox gift card, but you can also win all kinds of other stuff, such as electronics, to snacks, to cool fidget toys. Go and download Playback today, link down below, and also use code GAMINGDAN. And by doing so, you'll be 10% of the way there to earn in your first $10 Robux gift card. Go to the desert and um, then follow me. Let's just wait for this to go ahead and start, guys. So, essentially, um, we're going to have to go to some specific meters um, and stuff in this game, guys, in order to go ahead and complete this quest. So, what I'm going to do is, guys, I'm going to quickly assemble my car. I'll meet you guys back once it's fully assembled, and I'll tell you guys what we're exactly doing. Okay, guys, so for this one, it's actually going to work slightly different to how the normal ones work. So, normally, guys, we find the quest npc we go a little bit further and we find the boss oh guys it's kind of in the opposite order this time we go a bit further we find that quest npc we need to come back for the boss guys so i'm going to be showing you where you need to go in order to go and find this quest npc guys it hopefully shouldn't take you too long of course guys try not to die on the way there because that will not be ideal um i'm just going to be going down this road guys and i will meet you back once we're there i'm fairly certain guys the quest npc should appear about 5,000 meters guys but I'm going to quickly show you something a little bit further as we go down because there is um, another thing that I do need to show you guys before we do get there. I just hope this time, guys, I do not like drive straight into the bridge because last time I was recording on this game, I just drove straight into the canyon and it was absolutely terrible, guys. This time, hopefully, because I'm aware, we should be able to go ahead and just go straight over that bridge and hopefully not have any issues. Okay, but I'll tell you what, guys, I feel like I just got hit there. I don't know how I didn't. I swear that meteor is literally like right next to my car. Um, but luckily enough, guys, we we're, we're seem to be good so far. These meteors are getting really, really close. The meteors have aimbot, guys. I tell you that. If that was real life, guys, I would I would not be enjoying myself right now. But yeah, I'll meet you back at um, when I've got something interesting to show you. Okay, guys, so we're pretty much there. This is where the boss is going to spawn at 3,400-ish meters. It's just in there, guys, that little gas station. Now, I am not going to go in there just yet, guys, because we don't want to defeat the boss just yet. We actually want to accept the quest first. So I'll meet us back once we're at the quest NPC. He's at the other side of the canyon on the um, bridge, pretty much. Okay, guys, so I actually messed up. Um, you need to go in and defeat the boss first, guys. Otherwise, you'll just have to come straight back. Um, I thought you had to accept the quest first. You don't actually need to accept the quest first. You just need to defeat the boss. So, guys, the boss is over there. That is who we need to go ahead and defeat, guys. Now, let's go ahead and do this, I guess, guys. So, we need to defeat this boss over here. I wonder if I can actually damage him from this distance, guys. It would be pretty good if I could, to be honest. But I don't think I can. I'm just going to quickly kill this mutant over here, guys. Because we do not want them chasing after us while we are defeating this boss guys because the boss has actually a range of pretty cool attacks i guess that you might not want to um get hit by now to be fair what you could do well here we are guys next to boss right now um yeah well, what he does is he's like throws these things and they do go and come after you guys he's also got that fire attack and that tire attack as well um so let's quickly there we go guys you killed him it was really really easy to kill him so essentially guys what's going to happen is you're going to get this crate and then what we need to do, guys, is go ahead and take this crate. Now, it's got a timer on. It's got a five-minute timer on, guys. You must deliver this to 5,000 meters. I don't know why um, it fell there, guys. But let's go ahead and put this on our car. Um, here, right, one second. This is not good if it's if it's time, guys. We want to get this on the car as quick as possible. Right, there we go. It's attached onto the car, I hope. Um, and if you guys don't deliver this in the five minutes, it will explode. So keep that in mind. Um... And of course, the sun is setting while I'm trying to record this video. My car doesn't want to move right now, guys. I'm just going to have to, I think, right, can I attach this onto the roof now? Let me just eat this burger, guys. Here we go. The problem is this car can't hold much weight. Um, and this is probably quite a heavy thing. I need to start my engine, guys. Um, because I, well, first of all, I need to turn my sound on, sec. I can't hear if my engine's on. Okay, my engine's on. This is off. Right, there we go, guys. Okay. So, 
pretty much um now we have to go to the spot guys let me turn my sound off because that engine is horrible um horrible sounding and yeah guys so we're gonna come straight down here to 5000 meters guys so we do need to cross the bridge now of course because this is timed you do not want to be here when the five minutes is up so keep that in mind guys you're gonna want to be quick about it otherwise you'll not be having a good time i'm not gonna lie guys unless you have a really really slow car it's honestly gonna be quite easy to do this within the five minutes to be honest guys it doesn't take long at all to go ahead and get to the bridge so i would recommend just to um i guess well you don't have to rush i guess guys um especially not over the bridge because if you guys do that then you might just fall off it um but anyway guys here we are 4,700 meters. Um, I have a feeling I might have run out of water in my car. But I hope it's water and I hope it's not fuel. Because if it's fuel, I am not getting this thing delivered. But um, yeah, guys, let's just go ahead and come across the bridge over here. You know, guys, let me quickly check. Do I have... Is it, is it my engine that's overheated? Or is it... Yeah, okay, it is my engine. I thought it was, guys. We got zero liters of water. We're still fine. We're fine for gas, guys. So, yeah, I'm just going to move these out of the way. Not going to lie, because if I'm being honest, they could mess us up. And we're just going to come through here, I guess, guys. Um, and, yeah, complete this. So, in our car on, and let's just drive forwards through here. Um, right, okay, is my car messed up, guys? Okay, this is brilliant. Of course, my car has to be overheating right when I'm making it to the bridge here, guys. Okay, here we go. So, yeah, of course, guys. Yeah, my car's overheated, which is brilliant. This is awesome. Um, okay, let's keep on coming forwards. Easy. Right, I think we're going to make it to the end now, guys. And, of course, there's a tornado right as I get down here. Like, what's my luck? Um, but, anyway. Right, okay. This is just not ideal, is it, guys? Let's just go ahead and go straight over here. We'll put the handbrake on. We'll get out and we will grab this, guys, and put this inside. So you just need to go close to them. And as you can see, guys, just in the nick of time, the crate had enough TNT to send us 50 miles to the moon. Here, have this. So, guys, you will go and get this free um, truck tire bazooka, guys, which just spawn tires. And this tires actually do bounce off things, as you guys can see, which is kind of cool. I mean, you can barely see because it's night time. Yeah, this is the brand new weapon that you guys can get, which is pretty cool. I think that's going to be it for the video, though. Like and subscribe for more.